Hey guys, what's up? This is Bevan from Rational Awareness. And I want to talk about what you can do if you're feeling resistance to meditating. So you're, you've scheduled a meditation session. <laughs> Maybe you're going to meditate tonight and you're just thinking, oh my God, I can't meditate tonight. It's going to be so boring. I'll be so tired. It's just not going to work out. This sucks. I'm never going to meditate, etc. <laughs> we all do this. We all resist meditation. Even if you've meditated for a long time, you can still feel resistance towards it. And this is actually great because when you feel resistance towards something, this is your cue that you're not really present. You're not really living in an aware state. Rather, you're projecting yourself into the future. You're anticipating the discomfort of meditating and you're not present, right? <laughs> if you're thinking about the pain of meditation, you're not really here and now. So use this to your advantage. Every time you detect resistance to meditating, do yourself a favor remove the time element from the equation here. So stop thinking about the future and just jump to it immediately. Go to your breath immediately. Maybe you're doing formal meditation and you might not be able to you know, sit down and have a formal seated meditation session in the moment. If that's the case, just return to your breath for 10 breaths. Just have 10 conscious breaths every time you notice that you're resisting meditation. And what this does is it puts you back in the state of presence. It gets your mind away from the future. It gets your mind away from thinking about the future pain. <laughs> And it gets you meditating again. So it uh, gets you back on task and it trains your mind to really stop ruminating on future events. Um, and this is extremely valuable. It's what I try to do all the time. You know, even if you're doing continual breath awareness or trying to bring mindfulness into your everyday life, you will still fall off. You know, your mind will still creep in with thoughts, will still creep in with thoughts of the future and the past that really shouldn't be there. And you'll still experience resistance but use it as a tool to kind of snap back to the present and immediately engage in that activity that you're dreading. And it doesn't just work for meditation. This really applies to absolutely anything that you're dreading, anything that you're resisting that's in the future. For example, you might be looking for, or you might be not looking forward to doing a speech on a given day, for example, or maybe you have a pressing deadline that's really stressful. Anytime you catch yourself ruminating about that, or just dwelling on the future pain and stress of that upcoming event, snap back to the present, immediately engage in something that can help um, you accomplish that. Maybe you can you know, get some work done towards that assignment that's due, or maybe you can practice your speech in the now. So stop thinking about, um, stop stressing about the future, and rather take action immediately and focus entirely on that in the present. Some things, of course, you can't really work towards in the present, and for those things, just return to your breath. So if you are stressing about a deadline and you can't do anything about it right now, just return to the breath. Um, even if you're not doing continual breath awareness, just have 10 conscious breaths and that will be enough to center you and enough to you know, somewhat train your brain to go back to the present whenever you catch yourself ruminating. So hopefully you can use this to great effect. I hope you do. Let me know how it works for you and I'll talk to you next time.